home of the Cardinals since 2006. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And now here's the starter for St. Louis. Sonny Gray. How about a scouting report on him? When he's on Boog, he's really fun to watch. He takes the pressure off entire lineups, and typically, he doesn't need a ton of runs and support. No one should be surprised if he settles in and takes full control of this game. That's what he's looking to do for sure. Ready to go now. Up now for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. That clips the zone, and we're underway from St. Louis. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That one way inside. Swung on, belted. And in one hops the wall. Round second, digging for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Everything came together for him. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. And now it's William Contreras. That just misses, and that's ball one. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. you got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect him to swing at. And here it comes. And that one almost hit him. Runner at third here. Nobody out. to the left side but it is well foul and a swing and a miss there well that's that slurp right there he threw it extremely well and talk about just a ton of breaks so tough to get that barrel to that missed by a lot and the counts full Jake Bowers in the Milwaukee on deck circle Terang at third with nobody out. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss now here's Jake Bowers inside corner and that's called a strike run around at third one gone late on that fastball quickly in an 0-2 count you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball put it in play somewhere then you got a chance next offering is down low and a count one and two on the ground to third throws to first and the first run of the game comes across so important to really lock in on an at bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Willie Adamas stands in. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list.
There's the strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. And one and two. Hoog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Two outs, bases empty. Towards first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Brewers one and the Cardinals nothing. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the mound now, Freddie Peralta. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. Just missed. There's a line drive to left field. Chorio makes the grab one away. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up, take the lead. I tell you what, momentum can really swing, and you can put your pitch... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And brings it in at the wall. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Goldie, 36 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing. Later on in the game, that may be a pitch that he turns on. And misses inside. And that's down it away. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Redbirds down quietly, and it remains 1 0. Back here at Bush Stadium, second inning set to go. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. Gray back to work. Well struck left field. That's got a chance. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, the first reaction was bad, and it created the wrong angle. I think it was a catchable ball, but because he doesn't get a good read off the bat, turns it into a double. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Garrett Mitchell. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Chorio at second with nobody out. And there's a ball. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. 
Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Donovan gets under it. One down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And a foul ball. Here's the 0 2. That one missed. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. That's outside. Ball one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. This one in the air right field. Fan on the move. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. Milwaukee leaves one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second, bottom of the second. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable, does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, he's a middle of the order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers, and their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Swing and a miss. That one's in there. And the count, one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. In there, and it's 0-1. Peralta, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. One down, base is empty. Next offering misses down and away. And there's a ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And now it's filled up. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The Cardinals down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. That one 95 to finish him off. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him 
allowing some balls in play as well. Two down, nobody on. On the ground. Tosses to first. St. Louis goes down in order. And down in order go the Cardinals. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here in St. Louis, here's the rookie third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. The right-hander back to work. Hard hit left side. Over to Goldie. And one away in the top of the third. The batter number two, second baseman, Bryce Terang. So the lineup flips over, and here is Bryce Terang. Tripled and scored to lead off the game. On the ground, right side. Goldie takes it to the bag. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Up next for Milwaukee. The catcher. Two outs, base is empty. Contreras. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. Struck out swinging his first time. He was late there, strike one. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. Two outs. That one is hammered right field. Fan going back on this one, and it's off the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. He was all over that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Man at second here with two away. Next for Milwaukee, Jake Bowers. First time up, he grounded to third. And a good eye there. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. One ball, one strike. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Makes the sliding stop. Man on second, two down. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one's carrying. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run comes in from second, and they take a two run lead. Picks himself up in RBI. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Willie Adamas. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Just missed. And the strategy of winning a ball game when you could make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up the 1 0 just missed in for a strike and it's two and one now. Two outs and one in scoring position. And Adama swings through that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. At the belt and fires. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it one hops the wall. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's three zip. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask.
And it's scoring position with two away. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. Ball one there. And the 1 0. That catches the corner. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Started after the one two pitch appeal to first and he held back according to Larry Bullard. And the right hander deals. Sharp grounder that's through for a base hit. Adamas coming home. He will score and it's four nothing. Wasting no time he's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Man at first, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Garrett Mitchell. That one misses, and that is ball one. Sonny Gray checks on the runner, and he's back in safely. Righty to the plate. That clips the corner. Next offering is fouled back. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Third out. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Brewers four and the Cardinals nothing. Back here in St. Louis, set for the bottom of the third, and now the center fielder, Lars Newtbar. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers late on that fastball through that fastball right by him slightly elevated that's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound see if he continues to climb the ladder oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one I really like that swing man he didn't just push it the other way through the infield he drove it that way and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box got a pitch he liked and he got it done Tommy Pham in the box now. No balls and a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. In the dirt, one and one. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Righty delivers. Newt Bar gets his lead at first with nobody out. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Just off the inside corner. Ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's Nolan Gorman. Just missed.
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And that's in there at the knees. The one, two. Fouls it back with two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there is another strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Win. Batting for the second time. And that's strike one. And that's in the dirt. The Brewers leading by four here in the last half of the third. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one left for the Cardinals. They trail it here for nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hoskins in his seventh season, 31 years old, and he was a fifth round pick. Back in, and he can't come up with it. And he's gonna make it to first, and we'll see how they score it. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there. And as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning. Make that error hurt. Now here is Sal Fralick. He's 0 for 1. Just off the inside edge. Runner at first with no outs here. High fly ball out to left field. Donovan makes the catch for the out. One away. The third baseman, number three, Joseph Ortiz. Man at first. Now the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. 0 for 1 so far. And a foul ball. The 0 1. Here goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Tag out. A rocket of a throw from Wilson Contreras. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Up the middle, win. And that will end the inning. Ready to go, Ready to go. bottom Four, four. and now the DH, Alec Burleson. And a pitch. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. 
you know, these cards just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. That one not close, and the count one and two. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Goldie stands in now and watches strike one. And a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that one clips the corner. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. There's one. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, center field. Mitchell going after it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The cards leave one. They're down 4 nothing. And we're back. New inning getting started. This is Bryce Terang. Gray, back to work. Now fly ball to right center. New bar on the move. And makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Catcher, William Contreras. William Contreras digs in now. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Outside low. And the count is one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. And another ball. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Just misses the mark outside the zone. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Out there to center. Under it. And there's two away. And now the first baseman, Jake Bowers. One for two. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Activity in the bullpen. Matthew Liberatore, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. That's in there, and that's strike two. 
Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Swing and a drive, deep right field. On its way. Out of here, a home run off the foul pole. And they tack one on the board. It's 5-zip. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Off the bat, it looked like it had plenty of distance, but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair. I mean, he really hooked that thing down the right field line, but good thing that big pole was there to let us know. Could have very easily just been a long strike if he hit it out front any more than he did. Adamas in the box again, takes a strike. You'll one. Good eye right there. The shortstop takes a ball. Sliced hard but foul. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And the lead is now 5-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. This one smoked out to left. Chorio snags it, and there's one down. Up next for the Cardinals, the center fielder. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And he makes the catch. That's out number two. Up next for the Cardinals. No two outs, field. base is empty. Here's Tommy Pham. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Out to short, Adamas. Slings it across. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. It's five, nothing. On the mound now, Matthew Liberatore. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Here's Jackson Churio. Not only is he young, Singy, he's the first player born in 2004 to reach the major leagues. Woo. Is that supposed to make us feel good about ourselves? No. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Brewers, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. That misses, and it's one and two. Wind in the pitch. Struck him out looking. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Mitchell in the box now, no balls and a strike. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Kyle Leahy up and throwing. 
Base is empty one away and we're the top half of the sixth. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now that designated hitter, Reese Hoskins. So now the DH spot, Reese Hoskins. Just missed. Just missed. And another ball. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Fraley stands in now and watches strike one. Got him swinging. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers five and the Cardinals nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium. Well, we go bottom six. Now up for St. Louis, Nolan Gorman. The wide to kick the pitch. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. A gigantic blast. And they're chipping away. It's 5-1. They wasted no time in that at bat, swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Mason Wynn. There's a strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Alec. And next is the designated hitter, Alec Burleson. Lifted in the air out to left. Settles under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Now batting. First baseman. Paul. Two outs. Base is empty. Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. That's in there. That's strike one. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Way out front for strike two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And that just misses. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, 
Maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Kicks and deals. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Contreras in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Goldie off of first with two away. Right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. It's now 5-1. You're dialed into the show. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Librator, a tall lefty. He features a four seam fastball, a curb, a sinker, a slider, and occasionally uses a cutter. Slings to first, one up, one down. The batter number two, second baseman. Bryce. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Digging in, Bryce Terang. One for three. Up and in, one and oh. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Fouls it off, still one and two. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. Out to short win. Sends it across the first and two away to start the seven. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. He is a talented player. His big brother Wilson has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. Rip to short. Over to Goldie. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Brewers go down quietly. They lead this one, though, 5-1. Bottom of the seventh, leading off, Brendan Donovan. The cards in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Peralta back to work. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting some. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And gone! He flexes his power with that swing, and they close the gap. It's 5-2. This game just got a little more interesting with that home run.
Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Fouled off. He was late. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. And it's through for a hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. So up next, Lars Newtbar. First pitch, not close. And here it comes. There's the swing and a miss. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. And that one hammered Mitchell. Ranging back on the warning track and hauls it in. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Pham. Splits the plate on one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Fastball for a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Quick work on the three pitch strikeout right there. Started him with the slider in the zone to jump ahead, then sped him up with the fastball for strike two. And at that point, you can go a lot of different directions. He put him in the rocking chair by going back to the slider, this time out of the zone, and got in the chase for the punch out. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Gorman. He's already homered in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Redbirds trailing by three here at the bottom of the seven. A little out front there as he swings through it. Action in the pen down there. Devin Williams up and loosening in the pen. Kane warming up as well. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. Two outs. That's inside. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Brewers five and the Cardinals two. here in St. Louis we're at the top of the eight and here's the first baseman Jake Bowers the lefty fires right down to shoot it's 0 one slider for a strike 
Well, he homered earlier in the game, but showing no fear on the mound so far in this at bat. He's just attacking the strike zone. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And now the lefty misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. That pitch was pretty borderline at the top of the zone, and he's not digging the call out there on the mound. Clearly pretty frustrated, so he's going to have to collect himself a little. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. In there at the knees for a strike. Base is empty one away and we're in the top of the eighth. That one hammered center field. Newt Bar going back. Just missed it. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And a good eye there. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Wouldn't chase that time. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. pitch swings here and blasts one left field and that should be extra bases around first and hustling for second and it's a double making him three for four on the day well patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count nice line drive to the pole side met it out front but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield Garrett Mitchell now at the plate. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Here's a high chopper, and he grabs it foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Brewers strand one. They're still out in front, 5-2. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Elvis Piguero. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. 
The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And that's outside. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. All the strike, the pitch. And another ball. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a payoff pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Right-handed reliever. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Takes it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's the Cardinal DH, Alec Burleson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The Brewers leading by three. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Warning track, ball, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A solo shot. It's 5-3. He just sent a jolt of electricity into this stadium with that swing. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Just missed. And now two balls and a strike. One down, base is empty. And that one is inside. Hard ground ball, base down. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Here's the catcher to hit, Wilson Contreras. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And ball one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. The tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time.
lifted in the air right field. Freilich has a beat on it. He's got it. And there's two away. Now battle. Left field. Devin Williams into the game. And Boog, the offense needs to be ready for the screwball. It's not a pitch you see very often, so it's tough to pick up, and it's a good one. So digging in, Brendan Donovan. He's already homered here in this one. And there's a foul ball. Goldie, the runner at first with two gone. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss struck him out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 5-3. Major League Baseball is on the show. We're now back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Andrew Kittredge. Andrew. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Reese Hoskins getting ready to hit. Reese Hoskins. The pitch. Well struck right field. Back there. And that ball is gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one. It's 6 3. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So up next, Sal Fralick. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. He's safe on with a bunt single. He was racing down the line and probably didn't assume he was going to be safe until his foot hit the bag and looked up for the umpire. Nice bunt and great hustle to get himself a knock. Man at first, up now for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. And that one a little below the knees. Ball one. And delivers outside. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the ninth. The pitch. And another ball. That one ripped right center field way back there. Get out of town. A massive home run. It's their second home run of the inning and they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-3. That's their third home run of the game. 
They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let the They turn things over to the southpaw, John King. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So the batting order turns over. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Bryce Terang. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops into the glove. One down. Now batting. Catcher. William. Contreras. Here's the Brewers catcher now. William Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. And this kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. And he smiled as well, said, yeah, he's good, and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually. Still only one out here in the inning. in there at the knees and that is strike two stays alive and another ball One down, base is empty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. All over that one right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Jake Bowers will hit next. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. The one one. They say you win. One, ball, two one out and a runner at second. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. And now the shortstop, now Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas. First offering, and it just misses. Contreras on its second with two down. The shortstop takes a ball. That one finds the zone. Now two balls and a strike.
and the pitch. Not close with that one. Three balls and a strike. On the ground to short. The throw to first. And the inning is over. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 8-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in St. Louis, bottom nine, stepping in, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. And that one just missed off the outside edge. In the air, left field. Under it. Nabs it. And there's one down. Up next for the Cardinals. The center fielder. He's two outs away. And now here is Lars Newtbar. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's in for a strike. The next offering misses. Two and one. The Brewers leading by five here in the last half of inning number nine. Right through there for a strike. Two two on the way. Out off the plate, they'll do it again. Got him swinging. Cardinals now with just one out remaining. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Pham. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. It's 8 4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Two outs, nobody on. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Gorman. And first offering is fouled off. The Brewers leading by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Ground ball, and this should do it. And that'll do it. Well, Summon from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. And our final here today, 8-4 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.